Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig, and folk ballads can stretch the truth a little bit sometimes, especially when they're based on true stories. So today, we're going to be looking at the truth behind the folk ballad, Jesse James. Let's get into it. Now Jesse had a wife to mourn for his life, three children and they were brave. But that dirty little coward who shot down Mr. Howard has laid poor Jesse in his grave. Jesse James is the son of Robert James, a preacher man, and when Jesse was a young child, his father Robert moved the family to California so he could preach at the gold mining camps, but he quickly took ill and died. Jesse James' mother, Zerelda, soon married an older, rich man, but that guy really didn't like Jesse or his siblings, and he made them go live in a different house altogether. Jesse's mother, Zerelda, soon realized her mistake, left that man, and took her children, Jesse and all, back to Missouri. There, she married a third time, had four more kids, and she always supported Jesse and Frank, even throughout their criminal career. As a teenager during the Civil War, Jesse James witnessed his stepfather being hanged on his family farm by a Union militia who were looking for Jesse's brother, Frank, who was a part of a Confederate gang called the Bushwhackers. Soon after this, Jesse joined Frank's Confederate gang, fighting Union soldiers and sympathizers. After the war, Frank, Jesse, and other Confederate gang members joined together to rob stagecoaches, banks, and trains. Now Jesse was a lad who killed many a man. He robbed the Glendale train. He stole from the rich and he gave to the poor. He'd a hand and a heart and a brain. In 1869, Jesse James shot and killed a cashier at a bank thinking he was somebody else, but a pro-Confederate newspaper picked up the story and started the legend of Jesse James being the Robin Hood of the West. Jesse James even wrote letters to the newspaper defending his actions while on criminal sprees. But historians have never found any evidence that Jesse James was the Robin Hood of the West. He never gave any money to the poor after stealing from the rich. He just plain old stole and murdered. Now the people held their breath when they heard of Jesse's death. And they wonder how he ever came to fall. Robert Ford, it was a fact, shot Jesse in the back. As Jesse hung a picture on the wall. In 1882, Jesse James was living in Missouri under the alias Mr. Howard, and on a day in April, he had a meeting with new members to the gang. One of them was named Robert Ford. Robert Ford had previously made a deal with the governor of Missouri to bring down Jesse James in return for a reward. And on that day in April, Robert Ford did shoot Jesse in the back of the head while he was straightening a picture at home on his wall. Even though Robert Ford had a deal with the governor, when the police arrived on the scene, they arrested Robert Ford and eventually sentenced him to hang. But the governor of Missouri pardoned Robert Ford and his brother before the execution could go through, effectively setting them free. The Fords then made a living traveling around the country reenacting the assassination of Jesse James but Robert Ford was routinely booed during this performance. After the failure of Robert Ford's stage show, he joined a freak show and started drinking profusely. And in 1894, he was shot and killed in Colorado. The story found its way to traveling musician Billy Gashade, who put it in song. Now this song was made by Billy Gashade. Just as soon as the news did arrive And he said there was no man with the law in his hand That could take Jesse James when alive So what's true about this song? Yes, Jesse James did rob and murder. Yes, Robert Ford did shoot him in the back. But 
Jesse James was no Robin Hood. He was a thief and a crook and a deceitful person who died at the hand of the same type of person. Thank you so much for watching today. Let me know what you think of the Ballad of Jesse James down in the comments. And if you want to see the truth behind any other folk ballads out there, and maybe I'll do a video on it in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Yes, Jesse had a wife to mourn for his life. Three children, and they were brave. But that dirty little cow who shot down Mr. Howard has laid poor Jesse in his grave.